Hello everyone, Mike Rebel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. I recently had a request from someone who had a convention or a, an event coming and they had hundreds of people coming in and they needed to know how many rooms they needed to reserve for each night of the event since people were coming in and leaving at different dates. So the question was, how do we calculate that easily so we can reserve the proper number of hotel rooms? So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. Here we have a list. We just have 30 names and you can see they check in and check out at different times. Now the event runs from September 1st through September 9th. So everyone will be gone by the 9th. So we need to know how many nights we need to reserve for the first, second, third, etc., all the way through the eighth, so everyone has proper accommodations. So I came up with two ways to solve this. One a more graphic visible way, and the other just a simple uh, list of the number of nights for each date. So here's the more graphical method. What I did was I created a bit of a chart here that has each one of the possible nights from September 1st. I have through the 9th, but since the event ends the 9th, no one will need anything on that day. So all the dates that will be required are just the 1st through the 8th. And what I created here was a formula. It's an if formula using the AND function. So I listed the dates across the top, and what I said was if and the check-in date is less than or equal to that date, and the check-out date is greater than that date, then put a 1 in there. If not, just put a blank. So if we take a look at the cell I5, what I said is, is B294 less than or equal to 95. Since they checked in prior to, that means they need that night. And is the checkout date greater than this? Well, if the check-in date is less than that or equal to, and the checkout date is greater than, then they must need that room that evening. So we've inserted a one there. We did that for every date for every one of the attendants and then just total them at the bottom. So you can see on September 1st we need 9 rooms, 13 rooms, 21 rooms, etc. Then all I did here was to just copy that data or transfer that data into a simple chart so you can see very easily how many nights we need for each one of the dates. Now the second method we used, I'm going to collapse this here, was just using a simple formula to accomplish the same thing. As you can tell by what we did here, all we did was count the number of nights based on two criteria. So that lends itself very well to the count ifs function. So if we take a look at this formula, all we did was do something very similar. In the count ifs function, my criteria range was the check-in date, and then my criteria for that is it less than or equal to whatever date it is in column O. Then the second criteria is the check-out date, and again, are we saying is it greater than the date that we have in column O? And by doing that, we've come up with the exact same dates as we did by using the large chart. This way we can see more visibly who is going to be staying during what day. But if you just want a simple list of the number of nights required for each of the days of the event, just using the count ifs function will solve that very nicely. And that's how you can do that in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.